What's going on everyone? I'm out testing my highly modified aerial grizzly bike. This is the triple motor grizzly. Yes, the triple motor grizzly. I'm going to show you what it looks like before we get into this because I think I may have created something special here. So this is what she looks like. Love the black and yellow. Awesome color scheme. Black and yellow, black and green. Those are my favorite. But we've got hub motor in the front, 1000 watt, hub motor in the back, 1000 watt. And then I also added a 750 watt mid drive motor. So we have three motors on this thing, also three batteries. One there, one in under the rear rack, and one in the rear pack. So three motors, three batteries. I renamed it the Cocaine Bear because it's just a crazier version of the Grizzly, right? And I'm out testing, I haven't been on it in a while, but I still got love for the Grizzly. Love this bike, comfortable, crazy powerful. But I think I may have created the ultimate like off-road hill climber. I've been testing it on hills and it just endless power power for days as far as hill climb i'm gonna i'm gonna show you what i mean here it's like having a a jeep or truck that's four by four that you can drop into four low i'm gonna go over here to one of the only hills i know like an off-road hill i wish i lived in a hillier area i just there's like zero hills around me it's like it's hard to do hill climb tests but i'm gonna go over here and show you what i mean because i always say that dual motors which this has from the factory are better hill climbers because they got more power. There's both wheels spinning and digging, but the addition of the mid drive adds a whole nother level into this recipe. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, first I'm going to get this thing shifted into a low gear. Okay. We are in level or a first gear, first gear. I'm in low range now. All right. This is where we're going to come up. This is a tough, tough hill because it's slanted it's gravelly it's all loose stone and dirt and it's pretty steep you can see how slow i'm coming down i don't want to wipe out on it all right we'll go over here and turn around i got some mud i'm going to put it first in dual grizzly mode like what the stock grizzly could do and show you what happens. So let's start walking up, Oop, spinning out already. But see, you just get, when you're on loose stuff like this, the front wheel can't really keep traction. You really gotta baby the throttle. And you're just spinning and kicking up stones and dirt. Oh, just going everywhere. Right, it's got plenty of power to dig its way out of there, but it's so like uncontrollable with the front wheel spin. All right, we're gonna punch up the power on our mid drive. So we got full power. I'm gonna actually turn it to just rear wheel only. So I'm gonna use the mid drive and the rear wheel. We're gonna do this now. Punch the mid drive now. Walks up this hill, effortless, effortless. I didn't push the throttle the whole way. I just touched the mid drive throttle. You got a thousand watt rear motor working in conjunction with the 750 mid drive. It's like having four low range. F, I mean, up the steepest, grabbing, no spin out, no uncontrollable, nothing, just walked up that hill with ease. All right, one more test. We got to do mid drive only, no. No other motors, mid-drive only. Let's see what happens. It's definitely, definitely bogging down heavy. It's gonna do it, but not with any kind of power or speed. That's where we're gonna go real slow, I guess. I think the best combination doing a hill like that is gonna be the rear wheel and the mid drive together. You just feel so much more power in that rear wheel. There you go. I think this is the best uh, off-roader hill climb, just down low grunt power that I've created. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the Citizen bike is built for drag race speed, right? Off the line acceleration. This baby is built just brute force power. I bet I could tow a trailer up that hill, no problem. This, but this bike's crazy, crazy heavy. 130 
pounds this grizzly, this cocaine bear weighs. Cause you got, you know, already two batteries, two motors. It's 105 pounds when you get it. I've added another battery, a whole nother motor, some accessories on it. So it jumped up to 130 real quick. Now I did make a few changes to my setup that I got going on here. So this is the Grizzly display screen. This is the Grizzly motors throttle. This is the switch that controls rear all wheel or front motor. So that's how you control the Grizzly stock stuff. This throttle, this screen, and the switch. The control pad, I use it just to turn the power on. That's it. The pedal assist doesn't work. The stock pedal assist was removed. That's gone. My pedal assist is now controlled by the mid drive motor. So I moved that screen up here. This is your mid drive display and pedal assist buttons. So I can control that right here. So grizzly motor right here, got the rear wheel on, right? And if I want just mid drive, push the thumb throttle right here. Now we got just mid drive. And of course, if you want both, you do both. And if you want all three, you got to switch to all wheel drive and then do both throttles. And it's a dangerous takeoff. <laughs> Crazy amount of power. Three, two, one, go. Whoa. Yes, much more off the line. It gets a little, the front end gets a little swimmy when you add that third motor in there because it's just so much power. <laughs> oh, baby. The cocaine bear. If I can't show you a quick acceleration with uh, all three motors here. Get an idea. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Pretty quick up to 20 seconds. Just a couple seconds to get up to 20. All right, let's do some more hill climb tests here. Short steeple hill. I'm gonna start my front wheel right on the hill. Can mid drive only do it? Let's see. No, failing. Can hear the motor shuddering a little bit. So no, no go. Let's try mid drive and rear wheel. Oh yeah, so easy. Okay, so that's a win. What about, let's show you what happens when you do all wheel drive. It'll do it, I'm sure. It'll just get a ton of wheel spin. It'll be ripping and tearing everything up. Let's do that. All wheel drive, there we go. Just burning a path. Tons of wheel spin. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Just didn't need enough traction there. It's a little bit wet, but that mid drive rear wheel combo, man. That's the that's the four low ticket. Let's do it again. It's so easy. The only you got to worry about is the front wheel coming up in the air on you. No traffic. No one's ever out. Back here. I was able to ride, I like riding in these neighborhoods. No one's ever out. Woo, 35. Great speed power out of this bike. Still really like it. Five, no problem. That's about the limit. I'm in seventh gear. Now I'll switch. This is just the mid drive powering me. 32. And I'm not even pushing, I'm just rotating the pedals. So I can maintain over 30 with the mid drive. I can't really put a whole lot in. Here we go. So 34 with the mid drive motor. But you got a pedal. I don't know if it'll do it throttle. Oh, I gotta get into a higher pedal assist. Let's get it up to the high pedal assist, hit the throttle. It's just not gonna pull me up to speed like the dual motor does. Look at that. Ah, oh, nice and cool. I'm getting cooled down in the wind. Oh, 
I got traffic behind me. I got to move over. I mean, I'm going the speed limit. Come on, guy. This car, the Mustang 5.0. I mean, I'm going 34 miles an hour uphill in a 35 zone. And he couldn't, and he passed me. I am going the speed limit, uphill. It makes a big difference adding that power in there. Crazy. Right back up to 35. But there you go, folks. This thing is a killer. I love it. 35 mile an hour. Top speed, hill climbs with ease, down low, like dig yourself out of a hole type of four low capability. It doesn't get much better than this. Comfort, got the dual suspension. Let's get out of all wheel. I, don't, I hate doing low speed all, all wheel drive. It's so dangerous. That front wheel going everywhere. But what do you think? What do you think? Give you some ideas for your bike? I love building out different creations and this was uh this was a fun one i'm liking it a lot crazy speed crazy down low power cocaine bear <laughs> all right that's that's all i got hope you enjoyed thanks so much for watching